Okay, so I recently learned a new way how to make GIFs on Photoshop using um, screen caps, and, I, and I'm using KM Player, and I'm just, so first I'm going to show you how to take screen caps using KM Player. So basically you click on Control G, and then a little window should come up like this, and then I recommend making a folder. I made a folder right here called KM Caps, and then select it to where you want to, um, I guess it's called Extract the um, the caps too, I guess, to make it easier to find. Because if you just let them go onto the desktop, it's just going to be a big mess. So just put it into like a place where you can get to easily. And then, basically, you want to have the video playing. And then, these are my settings. Um, the digits are at 4. And it's ex frames to extract 3, every number of frame, blah, 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 continuously, original size. You'll be able to see it in the video, so. Yeah, and then just move it over to the side. And you want to start playing your video and then just find the part that you want to make the JF from. And I'm just making it from like, this is going to be like a short one. So. Doo -doo. Sorry, I forgot the click and trying to get to the part where it's like a campfire. And just click on the start button when you get to the part. I'm just like waiting for it to come up. Okay, there it is. And yeah, I just want to get the one of Zane. So I have 49 frames. Let me just X that out and just pause it. And then you're basically done with the cam cap right there. And then you go to Photoshop. I finally got my, I finally got, um, my CS6 to work again, because I don't know what I did, but I, like, messed it up, and I had to uninstall, like, five different times, and then reinstall it, but I got it working again. Yeah, and, be, I'm waiting for that doom, so let me pause this. Okay, so, since you're, it's not, since you're not using a video, since you're not, um, importing video frames to layers this time, you want to go to scripts, and then go to, Load files to stack into stack, sorry. And a little like a box should pop up in the middle of the screen, so let me just wait for that to open. And once you have this little box right here, you click on the browse. And then just go to the place where you put your um screen caps. Yeah. Yeah, these are all the P um PSD things that I have. I have a lot of them. Okay, sorry. Okay. Do, do, do. And then see my folder right there. And then I just click on the first one, hold the shift button down, and then scroll to the very last one and click on it. And then I select all and then click OK. And then you just wait for it to load. And then another thing that I've noticed is that the more um screen caps you have, the longer it takes. But since I only have 49, I already loaded it and then just click on OK. And then you just want to wait for it to load over there. And you just want to wait for this to load and I'll be right back. Okay, and once it's all loaded, it, look, it should look like this. But here's a, here's another important thing. You see in the timeline how there's only one little frame right there? So you click on the little box at the end of it. You right click. Sorry. Right click. Oh, sorry, just regular click, and then go to Make Frames from Layers, and then your timeline should fill up like this, so you can see all of it. So it would be easier to, if you want to, like, delete anything that you don't need and stuff. Yeah, so now it should look the basic way when you make a, a GF from a regular picture, and now I'm just, like, deleting some frames that I don't need. Yeah, and then you can just, like, just, like, crop out, like, the things that you need and things that you don't need. Oh. And then another thing you want to do is you want to change the delay from 0 seconds to, I usually put it at point 0.1, but whatever you want it at, I guess. And you just, by doing that, you just click on a little arrow next to the second, and then just click on one point. And you want to select all of them, I should have said that first, but yeah. And then just, like, change the, um, size that you want it to be, because I'm going to put this on Tumblr. And it can't be too big or else it'll go over the size limit.
Mm -hmm. So let me just, I'm going to make some, a few changes and then I'll be back to like show you the other steps. Okay. And I picked out two PSDs that I really liked and I'm going to show you what they look like on it. And both them both. And yeah. I really like it. Okay, now that you're like editing and everything out, well, I'm done. You go to file, and then you go to. And then you just wait for that to open. Hmm. One second. Okay, and then a box like this should come up, and you want if you're gonna put it on Tumblr, you want to make sure that it doesn't have like an M after it should say K, and you should be good. So mine's nine hundred sixty-four point three K, so that's good. And and then here are my um settings. JS selective notice no dither. Transparency, no transparency differ, and then 128 colors, uh, you can preview it. Yeah. So that's what my GF looks like. And, I, and it doesn't, yeah, so I'm just trying using caps instead of using the video. But I'm probably going to make another one using the video and see how, what it looks like if the quality is different or anything i'm going to use the same psds so yeah i'm going to start working on that but this is what it looks like so yeah i'm going to save this and i'm going to put it on tumblr so one second okay so here is what it looks like on tumblr i just started something if you want to put a, a border around it and this, well i don't know exactly how to do like the white border like the line oh this is the way that i make a border so you go on this, you, go, you click on a little square with like little dashes in it, and it's called the Rectangular Mark Lee Tool. And you get this little cross looking thing. And here's a trick that I found. Okay, so you want to line up like the, the last two corners with, okay, you'll see what it looks like in the video. But basically, you want to make it sh so that it touches the edges of the top, and then drag it down from there. Hmm. I don't see it. And then drag to the last part. Is it frozen? Hey, one second. Okay, and then once you have a little box like this, you want to click on select at the top. And then when the little drop down button, drop down thing comes out, you click on inverse. So that will get the outer corners around it, like that. And you want to go to layer. And then go to new fill layer and then solid color. Mm -hmm. And then for the mode, I'm going to do soft light, but you can pick any one that you want. And basically, it just picks, gives you like a little border, and you can like pick whatever color you want to have as your border. Whether it wants to be dark or light, and you can still see through it and stuff, which I think is is kind of cool. And you click OK, and you want to make sure that's at the top of all your other layers, so that it applies to all the other frames and everything like that. And then you can preview what it looks like. Preview what it looks like. And I just think that's a nice little effect. So yeah, and that's what it looks like. Yeah, you can still see through it and everything. So yeah, but I'm going to make an, another, well not maybe another video, but maybe like another part to this video about what it looks like without using the cam caps and see if it looks any different. So I'm going to pause it and I'm going to start working on that. So I finished with the video. Yeah. So, there you go. I just like, I think this one has a little bit better quality one with, that I use the video with, but I used the same, um, PSDs at the same, like, I adjusted the same way, 62 on one, 65 on the other one, same thing with this, and so yeah, but it seems like some of the stuff showed up more on one PSD and on the one with the like, screen caps and not as much as this, even though it's at the same setting, but so far I think I like the one with, um, that I use a video from, but this is just another way to make it if, you, if you're tired of making it the regular way. And I made the board a little smaller because I don't really know why, but I just did.
Yeah, but I hope this video was helpful, and tell me if I should keep making more of these and stuff. Okay, bye.